Hello everyone and welcome to my first Visual Basic in Excel tutorial. Today I'm going to be going through the basics of setting up your first macro and creating a simple Hello World program. I'm going to be using Microsoft Excel 2003. Uh, you can use whichever version of Excel you want. All of the uh, coding throughout the tutorials I'm going to use is cross-platform. So you should be fine to follow along with any version of Excel. You should, if you're starting these tutorials, be familiar with this screen already and how to use Excel a little bit um, and be ready to go on to more advanced things in Excel, such as creating your own macros. There's two key shortcuts you're going to need to learn, which are Alt plus F11 and Alt plus F8. Now, Alt plus F11, if you press that now, this comes up with your Visual Basic Editor. And this is where you input all of your macros. If you press Alt F11 again, it will switch back to this screen. If you press Alt F8, it brings up this little window. And this will, once you've written your macros, will bring up all your macros in here and you can run them this way without having to use any kind of boxes or event handling or anything like that. So, we press Alt F11 this will go back to the screen you've got a couple of different sections here you've got your project window which shows each project so if you've got another document open then this will show up as a new project and then you've got your objects which I'll come on to later what you want to be doing is right clicking on VBA project click insert and then module and then this brings up this screen which is where you're going to type all of your co code. Uh, for now just get rid of the properties, you don't need that yet. Right, so in this section here this is where we're going to be writing all of our all of our macros. So to start off you always need sub. This just tells Visual Basic that you're creating a new macro and then you need to name your macro so I'm naming mine hello world has to be all one word so you can either have it like this or you can use underscore but you can't use any kind of other punctuation and after that you need open parentheses and close parentheses this is really important and I'll come on in later tutorials to explain what these are used for but for now all you need to know is that they have to be there if you don't put them there then it won't work and if you press enter to go on to the next line notice how sub has now been capitalized and turned to blue this is because the editor recognizes sub as a what we call a keyword and capitalizes it. If it doesn't capitalize keywords that you put in then you know you haven't put them in right. It will always capitalize them and quite often it will do them in blue but sometimes it won't. Sometimes it will leave them in black. It depends on the the words itself. But enter this down so we've got a little bit more space. In here between sub and end sub is where you're going to write your code and if you write anything below end sub then it's not going to pick it up within the macro it's only going to run these lines here and it's going to run these lines here in order so you do put what you want to do first at the top and then keep going down and then what you want to do last at the bottom so what we want to do is always indent it so you can tell the difference between what's inside and what's outside. It's just good practice. So message box open a parentheses and then just type in hello world exclamation mark. Copy this exactly as I've written it or it, won't, it might not work. 
press enter to go to the next line and notice how it's capitalized it again giving it a few spaces so we know this is a proper keyword now we press alt f11 to go back to this screen and then alt plus f8 then you'll notice now that our macro has appeared in this window if you click on run then here appears in a message box hello world which is exactly what we wrote what we wanted it to do message box then in the message box we wanted to say hello world if you change the text here say my name is Matt then press alt f11 and then run it again then there we go it says hello world my name is Matt so thanks for listening. Hopefully you've created this macro yourself and if so then congratulations for creating your first Excel macro and I hope you'll be listening to more of my future tutorials.